we're gonna work on a Del Hiva guard pass. It's a very common position, and I see a lot of people is doing this nowadays. Underhook my leg. This is a very strong uh, grip from the half from the deep uh, De La Eva guard. Sorry, right here. A lot of people think about stepping over this leg. Okay, but when I step over this leg, I actually give him some options to grab me on the collar, bring me this way, and then start setting up X guard. Right? I see this happen all the time. And sometimes Jota. Jota himself put the foot between my legs. He don't even wait for me to step over. Because he knows this hook here will create leverage for him. Or sometimes, at the moment that I step over, he's gonna shoot this leg through and put an X guard on me. Like that. And then my leg is trapped. Now he's dominating both of my legs and I still, I can't balance here, okay? So I was watching the fights at dance and I, I feel like this position here will work really well for anyone. First, letting my opponent control my collar definitely will give him more grip and he's gonna control, okay? So I have to break this grip. To break this grip, I have to lock his leg here, okay? So lock the leg outside. Don't break the grip here, okay? You can do this, right? I'm not saying this is wrong, but we're gonna do something different. So you're gonna prevent him from putting the leg inside, okay? I'll block his leg, break his grip, and grab with the cross arm. Now I control the pants on this side. And then, I, look, I'm gonna start extending my leg so he doesn't go for a ball. Because my opponent will try to grab here, drag me that way, and then start going for a deep villa heel, or a bearing ball, okay? So you have to extend your leg, turn your toes outside, and use your elbow here, okay? On yourself. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start extending this leg and he's gonna fight with me, right? So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go one, I step a little bit out, and then two, I go inside, and then I drag his arm this way, okay? Try to face me, Jones. See, I'm already kinda like mount on Jones' right after, huh? Look, I use my knuckles as a spider grip, and I extend my arm here. So now, face me, Jones. His bottom arm is trapped. That nice grip that he had before is now is bad for him. Try to free your arm from the bottom. It's, it's hard, right? In the meantime, okay, I can't pass, I can't mount. In the meantime, I go close with my chest, and then I go here, Ezekiel. Okay, now I bring it to my left, sit, and then start finishing. Or I bring it to the other side, and then start attacking it. Getting my points, right? Get the four points. Let's say my grips are getting tired, I'm like, go, I already have like, the back of my point. Okay? Again. So Jonathan is right there, making a good grip. I break his grip, I control the pants, I have the cross grip, okay? I stay, stay steady here, okay? Just make sure you wait and control in a way that your opponent doesn't control you. Control my sleeve. Right? So don't let your, your opponent grab you like this. But if that happens, you have to use your knuckles on his arm like this, as you step over, right? So I'm here, and then I bring this leg in, look, this way. There's nothing blocking me here from bringing my leg this way, okay? So I'm gonna bring my leg on the floor, and then I extend this way, kinda like arm dragging, okay? Even if Jonathan's try to invert, to invert Jonathan. Right here, go invert, I can follow him. And I can start attacking his back, right? So now, finish him, right? So I want you to feel uh, the technique, okay? So when I'm here, I want you to feel after you step over, you tell your, your friend, okay, try to reverse, try to, and you try to manage the position by just extending your arm, okay? I'm here. Try to put your leg inside. Don't let him put the leg inside. At first, I can already control here. I stay like this, okay? I break his grip, posture, and then control. Try to put your leg inside still. Try to go deep the heave. You see, I can even bring this leg down. And at the same time, I'm dragging his arm this way, okay? But what I like to do as I'm bringing the leg down, I'm already passing this leg over between his legs, okay? 
and use this hand on the floor. You see how I start to me just hard, right? So now Ezekiel, I just let go the, the grip, hold my hand under, my hand face down like this, elbow on the floor, four fingers inside from the bottom hand, and then I'll close my hand right here. It's not this hand that will choke it like the traditional Ezekiel. It's the forearm, okay? So I bring it to my lap, and then I shrug, and I finish it, okay? And also you have this option. Break the grip, step over, turn, use my hand on the floor. Notice that he's between my, my hip. If the jaw doesn't invert, invert on Invert, 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 invert. I'm gonna follow him like this. Okay? So now look, right here, maybe if I, if I do a seat belt, a traditional seat belt, turtle. He's gonna turtle and I end up on bottom, okay? But if I go here, shoulder trap, try to turtle, now he can't turtle, then I can take his back easily. Okay? I like this body triangle because you control back. You understand? So again, so when I get here, and he tries to invert, right? I'm gonna face outside before he joins. Look. I go back. Because if I face inside, invert, he's gonna, he's gonna put on half grip. I gotta look away from him when he inverting. Because flexible guys don't do that. Especially like uh, your weight division, right? Like guys, look. Face away from him, and then go shoulder to shoulder, shoulder trap. Okay, then take his back. That's it, and that's work, okay? Go one, two, three. So, John, to just set up the position, me, okay? I will aim to keep this leg on my lap and control his, his pants first. And I like to push this leg down, so I kind of like start using like a split pass here, okay? I extend the leg in a way where his, the back of his knee is on my thigh. You see, try to bring the leg back so it's hard. Right, so I stay on this position at first. And then I grab the collar, right? And then I'm gonna start breaking the grip. If I can break with one hand, that'll be great. Right, because I'm already with my grip, so then I can easily boom, just go, right? But if he's really, really strong, pull hard, no. he's pulling really hard, right? Then you have to go here to break. But look. Keep this elbow tight so it doesn't swing the leg in. Because if you go like this, swing your leg in, it's X guard just. Okay? So keep here, break the grip, try to swing your leg in. So then you control, super tight. Now I want to see the person bottom, trying to go for a bolo, trying to go for, especially the little heave on this side, okay? And you on top, what I see some of you doing this. Look. One, two. Okay, now you have to go straight forward to number two, okay? So you have to go with the knee on the floor right away, the second step, like this. If you step your foot on the floor, it's, it's not here, okay? It's right far from him like this, okay? And you see, if you keep your, your knee here, over his thigh, okay? He can't do much. If that happens, I go for the, for the pretzel bowl. Right away, look, I go like this, and I start taking his back, okay? But if I mount more, if I go more upper body, over my opponent here, if I go more upper body, like mounting like here, and then I go for the position we just did. Like if I'm more like, like this. You see that my head's on the floor here? I'm not like this. I'm here. Try to me up. And don't try to go to the back without the Ezekiel under my leg. Don't try to go to the back without the Ezekiel. Like a lot of people do this. You keep it up, and then you put it in turn, then you're gonna miss the position. And right here, you may be asking like, why professor this don't go to mount? It's super hard, it's under hooking my leg. My leg is super trapped, I can't mount. Okay, so it's better for me to get Ezekiel, now it's safe for me to go to the back. It's pretty much impossible for him to escape right here. Okay? Even if you jump the stern turtle, I can guide him to the other side easily. 
right? And I, I, I'm choking it, but at the same time, I'm setting up the, the back kick, okay? So again, if you go more, let's say on the fight, you have your grips, and you made a mistake of trapping more the legs, right here, go for, for the bow, right away. Because, because uh, you create a leverage on his femur here, on the thigh. You just make this knee, goes to the knee on belt, to the belly button, right? And the other leg, look, you trap the other side and then you link your hip, uh, your hip flexor with his hip flexor. Now it's over. Then for here, you know what to do, right? Just your hook and then start attacking the back, okay? So I want you, I want you to do the technique with the personal bottle like 30, 40%. Okay? And then you go and you feel comfortable. It's very important to stay here. You're gonna surprise your opponent. Somebody asked me like, if his leg is under already, put your leg under, like this, if I can just like push and go. If this happens, it's different. I like to do this. Luisa does this really well. I go to the collar grip, cause I'm gonna pass to this side, and I go in this hand here. Then I sink his knee through, and then I go to, to a knee pad to the side. You can post your hand on the floor, or you can keep the grip on the collar if you want. But if you post your hand on the floor, you have to have your head side by side, okay? So let's say, if you made a mistake and your opponent is already here, control the collar, and then use his hand to push his knee between your legs. He's gonna try to bring back the leg. He's gonna desperate. He's gonna get desperate here. He's gonna try to face to me. Look, I can easily start pulling him with the concept of the collar grip, pass into a nice knee cut. That's why I control the collar before, even though he's facing that way. And if he's here, and I try to smash to this side, there's a high probability I'm gonna go for some cut. He's gonna elevate and then he's gonna trap me like this and then, right? So you have to be aware of that. Then you have to use a lot of uh, weight and you have to understand a little bit more what's going on there, okay? All right, let's practice right now. Kind of like a drill, but more like in, like a fight style. Each person, three minutes, four minutes, okay? One, two, three.